So this Eternal Evolution video is going to be about how insanely hard this new Purgatory boss is that they've made in the Rise of Heroes event. So uh, before I get into it, like and subscribe if you like the content. But what I want to talk about is we've always had the normal Heart and Hell boss. And as long as you've been playing the game for about a month, you can kill the Hell boss. Uh, I've now just today finished playing my second month, full month. So I'm starting month three and I am struggling. Like I just scraped in at over half health so I can two shot this guy. But uh, it, it's not going to be worth me uh, attacking him more than the, the first time it takes to take him down. The reason for that is the first time you fight him, you get 100 raffle tokens, which is awesome. Um, but after this, it's going to take me two runs to get the rewards from him. So it's going to cost me 60 energy to get 25 raffle tokens. And here it's going to cost me half the amount of energy and I'll be getting five less raffle tokens. So uh, I'm going to kill this guy once. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, I'll just go on to farming help. Something I want to go over with when it actually comes to um, killing this boss, if you can kill hard boss, um, kill him once, but don't spend these uh, tokens, whatever they're called, the stage coupons, because what you can do is within two weeks when this event closes, say for argument's sake, on the very last day, you'll have like a thousand of these saved up. You can then come in and just sweep the hell boss because in two weeks from now, you'll definitely be able to kill hell boss if you can kill hard boss at the moment. So save these up, spend them all on the last day of the event, and then just sweep the whole boss, you'll get like 2,000, 3,000 raffle tokens and spend them all in one hit. So that's what my recommendation is um, for killing the boss. Uh, definitely, if all you can kill is normal boss, 100% wait, because you'll definitely be able to kill hard boss within two weeks, maybe even hell boss. But this purgatory, if you can't kill it one shot or you can't get it down to sort of 15% health now, I don't think you're going to be able to kill it within two weeks. So that's how I use my um, stage coupons. As for the actual layout of the Rise of Heroes, the way that it works is you start from normal um, difficulty and it's super easy. Uh, you cruise your way through here, fight more once, then kill the normal boss, then you'll jump over to hard. It can get a little bit challenging towards the end, but it's not too bad. Uh, and then, yeah, you will then go up to hard hell and then, like I was saying, purgatory. Once you've finished all these stages once, you can go in and you can sweep. And you basically want to come in and sweep all the hard stages first. You can purchase more resource or more stamina to run through this more often. I've already bought 290 uh, a gems worth, and that's what I plan on doing. Is every single day, I'll jump in here spend 290 gems on extra energy because that'll allow me to get more raffle tokens. But after that, each time you buy 30 more energy, you're in, it's costing you 100 gems, 100 gems. That's 100 as well. Yeah, it just, it just goes up by 100 gems. At the start, it only costs an extra 20 gems. So uh, it's five times more expensive now than it was at the start. I'm just going to buy one more pack just to show you what I do. So I'll go through, I'll sweep all hard, any leftover gems that I have, I jump into normal. I'll come through, I'll sweep it, get myself four more runs, picked up myself 12 more boss tokens or stage coupons. Now that I've done that, we'll jump into the boss. Uh, we want to go purgatory and uh, you'll get to see the difference. I'm going to go through and challenge uh, the purgatory boss first. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll kill him off but it is insanely hard. To, to kind of put it in comparison, this guy is harder than Ancient Altar Hellboss, like much harder. So you've got all your best heroes in one team, and I'm only just scraping through to get into half health. For an idea of the setup here, I noticed that Emma was doing more damage than anybody. Even though summoners do an extra 75% damage to this, my Emma is just obviously so powerful that her damage just outweighs everything. So I just put on the Somali um, commander and uh, basically buffed everything around getting Emma as powerful as possible. Uh, Emma's got a plus two on her ult with uh, Somali. I think it's Somali. Um, for my... Mythic rune, oh, sorry, for my prototype, 
Uh, I've gone for the Flashpoint one to give me the extra shield. Oh, wow. That should not have happened yet. And I actually had to go through and re-gear my heroes a little bit as well. So I noticed Bot Mark was dying very, very soon. Uh, so early on in the battle that he was only kind of getting up to about 11 mil health. So I had to swap out his attack helmet uh, for a HP helmet. Uh, just so I had a chance of surviving. Um, and I needed the Flashpoint uh, prototype over the the Mythic one because uh, I needed the shield to be able to like tank some of these hits. Like what you saw Emma have before, she mustn't have had a shield on her and she just got one shot from the boss real quick. Uh, so the reason she is getting so smacked is that he throws out 10 missiles at once. So we'll go through a quick, um, well, on the next boss, when I go back through and start sweeping hell or fighting hell once and then I'll sweep it, uh, I'll actually show you this guy's uh, abilities. Just, ah, oh, man, I mean, why is she dying? No, all right, I'll, have to, I'll fight him um, another time. I just want to go through his skills to show you what he's all about. So if we go to hell, uh, you get to see what the difference is of the difficulty here. Um, so yeah, you can see I've got a plus two to Emma. I've got 5% extra attack on Emma and Daniel. Uh, and then the front line's got a bit more defense as well. So I've signed that. The support also gets an extra, um, was it 4% damage reduction? So uh, yeah, I've got double support up front. It's by far the best combo I could possibly get. It's just uh, still not doing enough, if I'm being honest. I don't need my characters to be this powerful for this particular battle, but I'm just showing you what my setup was for Purgatory. So again, we've got a... Uh, Plus two Emma, damage reduction resistance at the front for the support. The front's also got extra defense. My middle line's got extra attack. We're doing 26% bonus damage to anyone with a uh, debuff on them. So bot mark will keep that up. Um, this is just my highest stat um, one as I don't have uh, any tanks in my or reassemble or tank heroes. And then Flashpoint was just in there to give me the shield for any excess healing. This will be a walk in the park though. We're just gonna go through skills now. So uh, increased damage for summons by 75%. So I, I believe that's actually, he takes, cause it's called Achilles heal. So a weakness, he takes almost double damage from summon heroes. He's immune to crowd control. 300% uh, attack to damage in straight line. So he's got his Gatling gun shoots a straight line out. Uh, this is the one that was messing up Emma before. So launch 10 missiles that evenly target all enemies in the battlefield, each inflicting 400% as attack as damage, prioritizes summons. So you want to try and have as many summons out as possible to take more of those hits. 400% uh, in a fan-shaped attack. So if you have someone like a Taylor who can jump to the side, he can basically draw, Taylor can draw all that fire away from the rest of your team. And then finally, he gains 40% attack every 20 seconds. So you want to try and make this battle, um, like run through this battle as fast as possible so he doesn't get too powerful. So run through the battle now. This will be very easy compared to Purgatory. This will also be a good scout for you as to how much tougher it is. So we're 15 seconds in. It's only going to be about a 45-second battle. And uh, you can't even see the damage showing up on my champs. So yeah, I really can't believe how tough that Purgatory guy is. He's, he's tough. And then after this, what we'll do is we'll go through and I'll show you the raffle system. I'll show you how to use it to maximize your rewards. Uh, it always gets asked every single time. This is the third Rise of Hero event that I've done. So that's the Hell Boss. So we'll go through now, we'll sweep. And that just gave me an extra 40 raffle tokens. So now you can see I've got 239 raffle tokens. 
there'll be a few event challenges that we can claim event missions. So you'll get the, all three of these every day. So um, 15 more raffle tokens. And these are one-time events. So you see here, we're scoring an extra uh, 12 limited to tickets. And uh, there's another uh, 12 up for grabs later on. But again, getting tons more of these raffle tokens. And as we go through and kill more of the bosses, we'll get more of this stuff. Might actually see if there is one for Purgatory boss as well. Boss difficulty. Yeah, no, nah, so there's nothing specifically for Purgatory, so I don't really even need to worry about killing him. I will try and do it this one time. But um, yeah, after after today, I won't be trying to tackle Purgatory again. It'll be interesting to see some more powerful uh, content creators out there destroy him. But yeah, all right, let's get into the raffle system. So basically what it is, is that you'll randomly pull tickets. And as soon as you pull the Fang, you'll be able to reset the prize pool and move to the next one. Uh, the only thing that I want to show is that uh, in the prize pool, there's some really important items. So obviously your limited tickets are really good. I like the stamina potions, stamina supplements. The gems aren't too bad either. And uh, that's pretty much all I would really need. If you're a bit early on in the game, these are really important. You'll be pretty much chasing these first four items and that lasts for the first five rounds. After the first five rounds, you lose your limited tickets and you get a chance at eight uh, gene hybrid shards. You also got the um, next level runes and pretty much you're looking for the top five items here. Then we get to 11 to 15, same deal. You're looking for the top five items, but as you can see, there's now only four gene hybrid shards available. And what else changes? Uh, instead of getting 50 gems at a time, you're only getting 30 gems at a time. The other thing you'll notice is that these bottom prizes goes from 20 to 30. And these are your bottom tier items. You don't really want these. So the the pool kind of starts waiting more towards the, the worst prizes. And these get more scarce. So again, now you've lost all your really top tier items and you're just chasing these top four again. And the whole point of going through this is that in your rounds one to five, six to ten, and eleven to fifteen. These are the only ones you really need to care about and you need to figure out what items you want. So for myself, uh, it's these four items here, these five items here, and these four items here is all I care about. After that, I'll score some of these, but I don't really care how far the rounds I make it. So I'm going to make sure I get all four of these, um, well, those four items and max out each of them. So the way I normally do it, is go down 100 times i'll pull 100 tickets here so now if because i got the fang i'd be able to re-roll um the prize pool but you see i've still got one more limited ticket to get one more of these and one more diamond and uh it was actually quite good i've grabbed most of it and now i'll just pull five at a little ten at a time just see if I can pick up these last few items. Right, so I've got that, I've got that, I've got that. I'm only missing out on one of those. And the way I look at it now is I could pull, if I pulled one at a time, I might get it, but I might end up pulling all these first. So I'm happy with that. I'll move to the next pool, set it to 100. So pulling the fang out, I've got all five limited tickets, I've got all the stamina potions. Still got seven of those to go. I don't actually need those myself, and I've, I I uh, don't need that last bit of diamond really. And you can see, like, I've still got a fair few of these to pick up. So for me, I've grabbed all the best prizes that I've worried about. So I reset the prize pool again, pull a hundred. So I've got a fang again. I've grabbed all five limited tickets. Still got two of those to get. And the stamina potions I actually really like out of these prizes. So uh, I will go pull. Another 10. Got one of them. Cool. And then once I, then that time I drained the pool of all of its prizes, so it'll automatically move you to the next one because there's no, no more to get. One more to grab. Cool. All right, so that's all the prizes that we got. That's a, absolute ton uh, that's a huge boost to limited tickets 
And we'll go in here, we'll have a look at the shards. So we've picked up two full copies of Nefang so far. 